Hey, what's going on? What are you working on today? All right, well, today we got an old busted paddle boat, pedal boat, we found for $50. The, uh, the paddle in the center is missing out of it. The plastic, they usually break. And we're going to show you how to fix it so it doesn't break again. All right, so the problem with these is typically the paddles are going to be made out of plastic. You can see here where the paddle used to be. And it's actually all broke away, and there's nothing left but the shaft. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make the paddles out of metal, weld them on there, and then you won't have to worry about them breaking again. All right, so we're going to take this eighth inch plate we got to do is we just got to mark to make sure that we're not going to be dragging get the bolt bottoms out. So coming off of our fins, coming off our bottom, let's say we would be good around here. And we just got to check that for the amount of space that we have in the pocket for the blades, which we got more than enough. So that's where we're coming at. We got, the, we got the paddle fixed on a little paddle boat here. Uh, there's a couple other things that, you know, if you're watching this trying to figure out how to fix your, your pedal boat, there's other things that you need to think about. Uh, some other points that might break would be your steering mechanism, especially because these are typically made of plastic as well. And you have a plastic arm here, and it's connecting back with a steel rod to your rudder. Now, if these pieces break, Obviously, you'll have to make a new section. What might happen is you might end up having to replace this bottom post and actually welding a collar onto an arm and another arm that you can put a rudder on that you can then attach your rod to if you were gonna, if you were gonna try and fix that without actually getting replacement parts. The same might happen up here. And it's not that hard to fix. Typically, you're gonna have a steel arm coming through the center shaft so you can weld to that. So it's not that hard to just weld an arm off of that shaft over to this. This would actually be the easier fix when talking about problems that you might have with your steering. And the other thing that you might have happen is you might find a hole in your hull. Now that happens, there's a couple of different ways you can fix that. Basically the best way to do it would be to weld the pieces back together with a plastic welder. Not everybody's gonna have that though. So one of the things you can do is you can actually take sheet metal screws and let's say you've got a big cut or gouge. You can take and get yourself a sheet of plastic, like you're gonna want a thick piece of plastic. Typically like a Kydex or something like that would work. The other thing you could use would just be like a sheet metal, like a sheet aluminum. And what you're gonna wanna do is use like a caulk around where you have your cut, and then you have your plate cut to fit over that, and you would stick that on over the caulk, and then run your sheet metal through screws 
through the aluminum and the plastic with caulk around the head of the sheet metal screws and that would patch up and seal your leak. So those are just a couple other issues that you might come across if you're trying to fix up one of these old boats. Well, now that we got it all done, let's take it up and put it on the water. Seems to be working great. So if you'll excuse me, I got some paddle boating to do. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.